Well, it's great to have you along on this Monday afternoon. It has been bright, beautiful and sunny. And how about this view? You can't beat it. Our Marblehead Lighthouse cam with the brilliant blue skies, the calmer conditions out on Lake Erie, but still that familiar chill. If you're up close to the lake shore, you're going to feel that cooler breeze and it is considerably cooler out toward Marblehead. 51 degrees is where you are now compared to Toledo, about 20 degrees colder, 71, 70 in Bowling Green, 73 in Ottawa. It defines here at 72 degrees and that lake breeze is going to be much more prominent tomorrow afternoon. So heads up to this it may feel mild much of the day and then that breeze will sweep in off the shores of Lake Erie, turning many areas considerably cooler. The attention going to be now towards the central and high plains with strong to severe storms that are going to be erupting later today uh, across uh, Nebraska, up into South Dakota, down into uh, parts of Kansas, where they will be under the risk of any strong to severe storms. All quiet in our area, but as we get to tomorrow, that system is going to be marching to the east. That severe threat still going to be west of us as we get to Tuesday, but by Wednesday, at least a chance we get a few strong storms into the area. That greater chance we're going to be monitoring from about Kentucky up through Indiana and into western and extreme parts of northern Ohio where there'll be the risk of a few strong storms that may be possible Wednesday afternoon. Timing of this is going to be about 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., so it is going to be near and after school on Wednesday. Higher threats going to be some wind gusts, but also some large hail and any storms that would bring some lightning on Wednesday afternoon. So we'll give you the early look at that. Quiet conditions till then. Doppler radar is expected to stay dry the rest of the evening. And let's highlight what happens tonight into Tuesday morning. We're going to start your Tuesday morning back in the mid 40s. Now highs tomorrow are going to range quite a bit across the area. That cooler lake breeze and heads up if you're here in the Toledo Metro. That lake breeze may begin to push in through the course of the afternoon, so don't be caught off guard. Have that windbreaker or sweatshirt handy. Much warmer to the south and to the west. We're 70s yet again will be possible, but considerably cooler conditions near the Lake Erie shore on Tuesday. All areas return back toward warmer weather Wednesday. Highs expected to make it back into the mid 70s ahead of a stronger cold front that will bring us that chance of storms. Quiet conditions on Tuesday with an hour by hour forecast. Going to put the clock out there 1 p.m. Still a partly to mostly sunny sky. Storms that will be making their way into the western Great Lakes on Tuesday afternoon. Again, not going to impact us until Wednesday afternoon. That chance of storms will be uh, sliding into the area and the timing of it. Here's a clock after 1 p.m. Some storms that will race into the area could again bring some gusty winds. Mid 60s, but they'll range quite a bit across the area. Cooler near the lake, warmer to the south and to the west. There's that storm chance on Wednesday, mid 70s, and then we drop back into the 60s for Thursday, Friday. Mainly dry weather through the end of the work week. A few showers early Friday and a cool late April weekend. Highs both weekend days in the mid to upper 50s. Amanda.